Happy Father's Day to all of you. Uh, we are looking at uh, a beautiful day, and I want to show you on my tractor what's in the toolbox. The reason I want to show that to you is because uh, I think starting out, it's hard to know exactly what you need in your toolbox. And now that it's been a couple of years, I know exactly what I need. That doesn't mean there won't be additions, because change is uh, really the only thing you can guarantee. So tell me what you have in yours, and I'm going to show you right now what I have in mine. And uh, I think we can collaborate and make a, some good choices that will help us out in the field. So what's in your toolbox? Let's find out what's in here. First of all, gloves. You could need a good pair of gloves. These from Harbor Freight are one of the best pairs and they're about the cheapest. They're the goat skin hardy gloves. Crescent wrench, I mean uh, open end wrench. And you need two of them. Always need those. Tape measure. You always need to be able to measure. I'm always using it. In this case, this is our newly added I remote for the winch on the front. Okay? That's new. What else do we have? Well, assortment of pins, screwdriver. Screwdriver is not mainly used for the regular flathead removal. It's mainly used to pry off clips that I can't get access to. Gloves, more gloves. Why these kind? These actually serve multiple purposes. One, for my hands, and two, for the hydraulic lines. Uh, some Teflon tape, just in case. And some more uh, different things. And this is our, well, this really shouldn't be in here. This is what broke on the bottom of the tractor when I got caught on the stump. I haven't posted that video yet because I'm behind on getting videos out. I have miscellaneous pins all throughout. A uh, swivel for my impact wrench. Actually shouldn't be in here. Pliers. Gotta have pliers. And then uh, the bent washers for the pats right here. Gotta have several of those just in case. And I also have some miscellaneous uh, shear bolts in here. I have not had any shearing since I put the slip clutch on for the PTO. I think that has actually been a, a really good feature. I still keep these in here because you never know. Also keep some uh, hand warmers and a hammer. Gloves. Keep lots of gloves in there. Um, fuses for the fuse box. Ever since I replaced that plastic fuse, you remember how I kept blowing uh, fuses from the PTO when I would engage? Once I took off the plastic nut and replaced it with a flanged uh, steel nut, I have not blown another fuse. And I think that was it. If it's too loose, it will blow. Okay, some bolts for pins. Oh look, a third open end wrench. And lots of miscellaneous pins. And also, my homemade tool for helping, uh, well I can use it for lots of things. I can help turn these down here. Uh, can't think of them. I can, I, but my main purpose is, is if these inside are too tight, I can go in and pop it and it will relieve the pressure right then and there. The whole box is a ammo container that I can also take with me on the job site. So if I need to work over here, I don't have to keep going over and grabbing uh, tools. I can just take the whole toolbox with me. When I'm done, I just put it right back in. 
that is what I have in my toolbox. Show me what you got in yours.